Anju! Is this the story crystal of Thoth? This shows the crystal of Thoth on the pinnacle of the obelisk. reflects the light from the crystal. Oh. 
Ah, there, beneath the tree of life, a path has been revealed. I have never seen such swords, made of the strongest iron, and have not rusted in all the ages spent under this tree. This must be the treasure Damos is searching for. Ah! 
What? Piano me!
The Medi of old! See there! The Medi of old! It's Bayan! I will draw and quarter him! How do they know me? What brings these men after me? Shadows of the Scarab. Who are these desert hunters? Buried in the desert remind me of Tahaka. His influence still lingers. Bandits buried in the shimmering sands. Just like the scarab. dedicated to the shadows of the Scarab. They were hunting me. So this is where the shadows nest. Show yourself! Hmm. There's no one here. A scroll dedicated to the shadows of the Scarab. They were hunting me. Father in the desert. Go up. I am not your enemy, Kawab. We do not need to do this. For the great Tahaka, forever the ruler of Latopolis! <laughs> Tahaka's little boy has grown up. And you, Magi, have aged poorly. You have come to defend Tahaka's honor, but you forget, he never had any. My father was the great steward of Latopolis. Come <laughs> on. 
your father. For his honor. My family is cursed to die at your hands, Bayek. Your father did. But you do not have to. You are innocent. There is only darkness. You fight well. You have bred a fine group of warriors with your shadows of the Scarab. Still winning. <laughs> Just kill me. Go up. Do not make the same mistakes your father did. What other option do I have? I've tracked you as soon as I could ride a horse and kill someone with a blade. Don't try to use your ideas to change my mind. I can tell you that killing me will bring you no redemption. Be done with me. Vanquish me. My existence was a mistake anyways. I want to show you something. Come with me, Kawab. Allow me to join my father. Your father cut your grandfather's tongue out. He oppressed your people. Family is not always our chosen and true brotherhood. He was revered as a hero as well. And a leader. Hey, do not be swayed by people's gossip. It is true that I never wanted to kill. I was driven to. I was driven that way once also. Without sense though. Even doing misdeeds against the gods. Yet Ma'at taught me a lesson. I am nothing if I do not honor my father. Then ask him why he supported child killers. You ask him why he betrayed you. What am I supposed to do? I have nothing else. You could join us, the hidden ones. Your gang of killers in the shadows? We are more than this. We have a code. I had a family before I had this group. I gave it all up because I did not have a choice. And if I do not join? There is only one other option. This desert is my graveyard. Or your redemption. This is what I wanted to show you. Endless deserts and mountains. Do you hear the wind on the sands? The desert calls us at times. Now, will you answer back or be taken by it? All my life has been revenge and killing. But I believe what you are saying. Give me the strength, my heart, to transcend who I am. To become a shadow 
of power and cause. Abandon yourself and you become one of us. Then it is so. I will renounce my name. My family. I will find a new one as a liberator. Alongside you, Bayek. Now, you are a hidden one. They will have peace until the Romans send another general. It is endless. We must make the Hidden Ones as enduring as the Order. There is a more immediate problem. Gamilat. The people look on him as if upon a god. They glorify his every action. <laughs> he fights for the people's freedom. <laughs> you and I just witnessed a massacre. I've spoken to the villagers. There have been many such massacres. In each, Gamelak sends his rebels to provoke the Romans. The rebels hide among the villagers, inviting the Roman backlash to fall upon the most vulnerable. Many villagers are slaughtered in the fight. You're saying he does this knowingly? This tactic creates martyrs for the cause, and families eager to take vengeance upon the Romans. His plan was to cause a slaughter, to recruit more rebels. He's done this again and again. He's building a rebellion at a terrible price. He is a friend. Recall that Cleopatra was more than a friend. Yet I trusted her too well. You. Helped me see my mistake. He and I must talk. <laughs> I am astonished by Gamilat's actions. 
Is he leading the rebellion for personal power? I don't think so. I believe he wants the rebellion to succeed so badly that he is blind to the cost. He genuinely sees the villagers as martyrs. He does not consider that they had no choice. And the tactic has been successful. He will certainly use it when the Romans send another general. Damn it, we must get oh. up! Force aid me! Tell me of your life in Rome. It's a marvelous place, full of intrigue, deceit, and corruption. <laughs> the perfect city for a hidden one. <laughs> I expected you to talk about the wine. The wine is very good. You should come visit sometime. We'll have a taste. I might do that. It is ahead. He will be surrounded by his rebels. Ah, they see him as a god. We cannot challenge him in front of them. Now that Rufio has fallen, how shall Rome? Awful young, aren't you? Come here, play soldier, have a laugh. I have no reason to laugh. Who have freed us sure. From Rome and... It is all very serious. Why are you here then? Neb, where is your leader? Gamalat is on a. To honor my father, killed by the Romans. Rufio thrashes in the duet. Bike. What is this about? You have been provoking massacres. Many innocent villagers have died. I have exposed the vile cruelty of the Rome. You will be the ultimate mob. You cannot harm me now.
there is freedom. And there is the life of innocence. Both must be balanced on this scale. It is now my heart that will lie upon the scale of Anubis. Your heart beat too strongly in favor of its cause. The innocent must always be protected. My ardor shone like sun in my eyes, blinding me. You have done right by me. I accept this death. From this day, no hidden one will raise a sword against an innocent. So it shall be written. May you find peace in the Duat. And may the hidden ones last until the end of time. The greatest of leaders, Gamilat, is now dead. And his story lives on in the warriors of the Sinai. Our tenets need to be passed on to those who have taken our oath, so they have a true creed to study. The Hidden Ones will pass on to Petra, and towards Judea, and forever. The creed must live beyond anyone. No one shall be bigger than the greater group. When I return to Rome, I will not speak of heroes. I will speak of discipline and perseverance. Amunet is a mentor to this brotherhood. Our will never rests. And our blades shall never tire. Thank <laughs> you.